In the last video, we learned how to manage form control values as nested objects. In this video, let's quickly take a look at managing form control values as an array. Let's say we need to collect the user's phone number. To be more specific, we want to collect their primary and their secondary phone number. But when storing that data, we don't need any clear distinction. We just want them stored as an array of phone numbers under the same label. Let's see how to do that in this video. First step, add the phone number's type. This is an array of string. Second step, we need to add the property to our default values object. Phone numbers and the initial value is an array with two empty strings. Third and final step, we add the JSX. Copy paste the Facebook field HTML and change HTML4 and ID to primary hyphen phone. The label is primary phone number. To the register function, we pass in phone numbers dot zero. The dot notation is used for consistency with TypeScript. You cannot use the bracket notation for this index. Please keep that in mind. Now copy paste this HTML and change primary to secondary. The index though is one. And that is all the code we have to write. Let's head to the browser and test this out. Let's fill in all the details and click Submit. You can see the phone number's property and it is an array with two numbers, primary and secondary. To reiterate what we have done, we have declared a new phone number's form value type, which is an array of strings. We've added that property to the initial values object with the value of an array consisting of two empty strings. We have then specified the name to two different fields by indexing that array at different positions. Phone numbers of zero, phone numbers of one. Phone numbers of zero will store the primary phone number and phone numbers of one will store the secondary phone number. Dot notation must be used and not bracket notation. Now, if you've understood this far, here's an exercise for you. I would like you to add the required field validation for all these form fields and display an error message when the user submits the form without entering the details. Make sure you remember, social is a nested object and phone numbers is an array when accessing the error message property. All right, we are on a good track, but we are just getting started with all the features of React Hook form. Let's take a look at a few more important features in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.